So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can promote yourself and market yourself as a football training specialist. Now, a common problem a lot of coaches have is getting in front of their target audience, getting in front of parents, getting in front of players, getting in front of coaches, getting in front of clubs. So something I'm going to share with you today are five very simple ways that you can build your authority how you can market yourself, how you can promote yourself and how you can become that training specialist that all parents want to uh, seek you for help. Okay, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. Right coach, so welcome back to this video and I'm going to share with you five very simple ways that you can market and promote yourself to become that training specialist. So every single day I get asked questions from coaches who reach out to me via WhatsApp, via email, and via social media. And they ask me, they say, Leo, I'm struggling to get clients. I'm struggling to get customers. I'm struggling to get in front of my target audience what's a couple of ways that I can promote myself to get more clients? So first of all, you've got to build a professional brand, right? You've got to build yourself as that person that is number one at what you do. So if you take our channel, for example, Ben and myself, what we do is we build authority in our specific niche, right? So we specifically target coaches who have businesses and we create content based on the problems that coaches are having and we help you guys to solve problems. So if you want to become a, a football training or soccer training specialist, you have to know what problems you're solving for your clients, what problems you're solving for the players that you're looking to work with. Number one is building an online presence. So the same way that Ben and myself, we, we create this channel to help you with your business, you as a training specialist could create either a YouTube channel, you could write a blog, you could start a podcast, you could use your social media, so you could open an Instagram page, a, a Facebook page, right? Build that online presence so that parents that come across what you're doing, they know what you're about. So if, for example, you decide to open an Instagram page, right, you can touch on different pain points that players are currently having. So if you know pay players are struggling with confidence, then you focus your business on solving that problem. So what problems can you solve for players that need help with confidence? If it's technical training that you feel that players need, then create content that is based on solving the problem of technical. Okay, so whatever you decide to do, it's important that you focus on the problems that your players are having so that you become that specialist. And when people come across your page, they come across your, your podcast, your YouTube channel, whatever it is you decide to build an, an online presence on, they can see that, right, you are a specialist at what you do. Now, the third one is offer free resources or training sessions. So I'm going to take you back when I first started my business. Something that I did was when I spoke to parents, whether it be on the phone or in person, what I was trying to sell parents on was a free training session with me. Okay. Because if I could get parents to a training session, whether it be a 30 or 45 minute taster session, then I knew that they would like what I do, they would like my service, they would like my training, and they will want to become a customer further down the line. So something you need to do is if you want to become that specialist, is have an offer. So whether you're using YouTube, whether you're using a blog, whether you're using a podcast, whether you're using Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, have an offer where you are driving your audience to do something with you. 
This could be a free resource that can be focused on technical development. It could be a resource focused on how uh, players can improve their confidence. Right? Whatever it is, have a resource that someone can either buy or get from you so that they can ha see what it's like and experience what it's like to train with you. Okay. Now, if you're targeting, targeting parents, then you could use all your online presence to build a funnel where you're funneling, funneling parents into a free training session with you. This one is build a network of local academies and clubs, also coaches as well. Okay. Now, when you're first starting your business, it's important to just get in front of your target audience. But again, what I mentioned as well is knowing what niche you're focusing on, right? So what problem you're solving, what challenges players are having in your local area, and how your company solves that specific problem. Once you have the solution to a lot of the problems that you're looking to solve, the next bit is you want to try and build a network of academies, clubs, coaches, players, parents in your local area that you can then offer something to. Okay? If you want to become the specialist, people need to see you as the specialist and people you need to get known as the specialist. So you could approach uh, coaches, you could approach teams, you could approach academies, you could approach clubs and offer to do something for them. Okay, whether it be a workshop, whether it be technical training, whether it be mindset training, what can your training academy solve that that club, that coach, that team, that parent, those players are having a problem with and you can come in, solve that problem and because you're solving that problem, then that entices them to want to do business with you in the long term. Okay. So get a pen and paper, sit down, have a look at, right, what's my uh, niche, my target niche? What's the problem that my niche are having? And what solutions does my company solve for that specific audience? Okay. And then from that, once you have that, then you can start to branch out and get in contact with and build a network of clubs, coaches, parents, players, academies, schools, okay, so that you can then go and offer them something that will help them to solve their problem. And the fifth one is collaborate with influencers. So if you've been following our channel for a while, then you will know that something that Ben and myself do on a regular basis is we collaborate with other coaches in this industry. So we bring on coaches onto the podcast, uh, we interview them, we also bring on uh, current customers in our program that we're working with, either one-on-one -on -one or in our in our accelerator program, we bring them on. And through that, we, we look to build influence. Okay? Because once we bring them onto the channel, then they can then go and share the video, the content with their target audience. And that also drives traffic towards what we are doing. So you, as a training specialist, could collaborate with different influencers in your local area to help to drive and build your brand. So this might be starting a podcast where you're bringing on other coaches in your local area, you're bringing them in, into your podcast, interviewing them, and then getting the message out there so that they can share it with their target audience and, and have more eyeballs on what you do. Okay, the more you get yourself out there, start mixing with people that are maybe higher up than you, provide something of value, bringing them onto a podcast, have them share their story, or collaborating on maybe a camp or a clinic, so that you can get yourself out there, you can get your brand out there, and you can show the world that you are a specialist at what you do, okay? If you need more help, visit the description below to get in contact with me. There's a number of ways you can do that. You can either contact me through my WhatsApp directly, or if you want, you can send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Reach out to me as well via Instagram, makemoneycoachingsports on Instagram. I respond to all coaches that reach out, send me DMs, 
uh, through there. So don't stay stuck with your business. Number of ways, visit the description below if you want to connect with me uh, personally. Okay, thank you for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.